Dragonite, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Back when I was a wee child, I decided anytime I found a Dratini, I would have to put it on my team because I love Dragonite so much. Then one day, about seven years ago, my friend convinced me because I liked Dragonite so much that I should try to shiny hunt a Dratini. I thought it was a crazy idea, but I decided to give it a go, and after nearly 25,000 encounters, I got my first ever hunted shiny, a shiny Dratini that I still have to this day, and I have it currently in my Pokemon Home version, and it's one of my favorite shinies of all time. But today, we're gonna take that a step further. The goal for this is to get a full odds shiny Dratini in every single generation of Pokemon. This is my shiny Dratini generational quest. To start, we are going to be shiny hunting in generation one. Now, for those who are wondering, it is possible to obtain shiny Pokemon in generation one because the way shinies worked back in generation two is that they were determined by their DVs or IVs in modern terms. If the Pokemon had a specific set of DVs, it would result in a shiny Pokemon, and that's how it was generated back then. So in Generation 1, if you got a Pokemon that had the correct DVs that would result in a shiny Pokemon in Generation 2, you could send that Pokemon from your Generation 1 game into a Generation 2 game, and it would result in a shiny Pokemon. There are a ton of better videos on YouTube that explain how this works. We are going to be hunting Shiny Dratini in the Rocket Game Corner in Pokemon Red and Blue. Now if you wanted to attempt this hunt yourself, I do have the correct stats listed on screen now that will result in a Shiny Dratini. Fair warning, when I was plugging in the numbers, it will not be guaranteed shiny unless the stats are still equal at level 50. Even at level 40, this thing has a chance it won't be shiny. So keep that in mind. I have all these levels listed if you want to try to attempt this hunt for yourself. But yeah, this is my first ever generation one shiny hunt and i am so glad i did it and before we begin make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't done so yet we are getting very close to 9,000 subscribers so thank you guys so much for the support so far and make sure you're subscribed so you can see the other generations of shiny dratini that i will be hunting for in the future so let's get right into this hunt All 48, that's kind of cool. Oh, okay. This one could be it. <laughs> I think. It could be. Alright, so we gotta level this thing up. 31, 30, yeah, 31, 33. Alright, so it's the first Dratini. We got a ton of rare candy, so we're gonna get it to level 30. It's the first time I'm doing this. It took 835 for this. Huh. 
All right, level 30. I, do I want slam? No, I don't care. Gotta cancel this. Thirty-eight, forty-one, forty-one, and a text forty-nine. This is still K. Just in case, we're gonna zoom in on this. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to cancel the evolution every time. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> we gotta get to level 40. I'll if I mean if it's shiny, I'll speed this up, so. All right, it's level 40. And the HP is still correct. 49, 53, 53, okay. And 64 attack, okay. So what I'm gonna do, because with the th new 3DS XL, the, um, actually let's, get, let's do this. I'm moving this. I guess this angle is pretty good. Let's focus on this. Um, okay, so because of the 3DS XL, the new 3DS, the power button's on the bottom, and the way I had it standing up, if I pressed on it, it could potentially, um, could it could potentially uh, turn it off and close the software. So uh, we're gonna keep speeding this up. I when I was. I have a, a list of the stats that I need. I think I mentioned that in the intro. I have a list of the stats I need here, but when I was making this list, I'm pretty sure I figured out that even level 45, it's not guaranteed. Like, I think it's only guaranteed at level 50 to be shiny. So we gotta do this 10 more levels and cancel it. So I'm probably gonna speed this up because of the evolution every time, because no held items, no Everstone, gotta cancel it every time. And you can't mass use rare candies on it like you can in the later games. <laughs> this would be insane if this is shiny, man. It's got a good chance now. It's one of those things where when it's level 24, it's got pretty not so great. I think it's a decent chance at level 24, but then like, you know... I'm at level 40 now, and it was still accurate, so. <laughs> Maybe I won't speed this up, because I'm, like, really nervous. <laughs> okay, four more levels, man. Oh. So I'm not sure how well you can hear the audio from this, but we'll turn it up, because that doesn't look like, it doesn't sound like it's picking up from the mic too well. Okay, it needs to be 101 attack, or HP, when at level 50. Dude, this might be shiny, man. <laughs> 101, the... All right, it's level 50. <sighs> Moment of truth. It's gotta have 60, 65, 65. And 79, this is a shiny Dratini, dude! <laughs> no way! I got that so fast! Oh my gosh! And I, this will go out after the video, but I just got my seventh shiny milsery today, so that's another two in a day for shinies. 
Oh my gosh, dude. So, um, I, I, I might leave the, the thing on screen now so you can see it. It's the stat thing I have. Um, I just, this, okay. So, I started this hunt a little while back because I wanted to just start it, but then I got caught up doing other hunts. And I decided uh, once they confirmed that the Nintendo eShop is going to get shut down for the 3DS, I decided to buy the other Pokemon games I didn't have for from the eShop. So I bought red, yellow, uh, and gold, I believe, on my 2DS. And I figured because I had red, I could double hunt it. This is the first day I'm double hunting this thing. This is the first day I'm double hunting this thing. Like I started, I started this hunt on just the the 3DS, the new 3DS, and I'm gonna turn this off actually. This 2DS, but uh, this is the first day I um starting this. I started at 400. I did 400 before, and then took a huge break from this. And I've only done 435 since because I'm at 835, <laughs> and I got a shiny Dratini. I gotta take a picture of this thing, man. <laughs> I can't believe this. I was going to end at a thousand and I was like, oh my gosh, dude, this is insane. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut here. I'm going to get things situated. Let me save the game before I do anything else. The first one that actually lined up ended up being the shiny. And I'm pretty sure I confirmed it when I was uh, making the, the, the chart, like the, the list of stats. Pretty sure I confirmed that it is not guaranteed until level 50. So even if I had all the stats perfect from level 24 to even like 45, I don't think it was guaranteed to be until it was level 50. And level 50 it was because when you do a calculator, there's a huge list of stats and some of the IVs can be the same stat. But when it's level 50, they're all different stats at that point. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna cut here. We're gonna get situated and I will see you when I return. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, so I want to show off this thing in uh, Generation 1, 2, and 7. But uh, in order to show it off in Gen 2, because I really have only played through Red version on my 2DS, I have to first trade it over to my 2DS and then back to my Crystal version. Because my Crystal version is the only game that can actually do that in Gen 2, but let's check this thing out in battle on this game, because why not? I named it Dragoon, which is the reference to the Air Ride vehicle in Kirby Air Ride, the Dragoon. Uh, it's like a pink vehicle that is called the Dragoon, and I wanted to name Dratini a gender-neutral name because I actually don't know what gender it's going to be, so it's, it's going to be random, I believe. So we got Dragoon, the shiny Dratini. This will stay as a Dratini, and this is technically part of the Kanto shiny living decks. The only thing is that I'm not going to be updating the counter for it for my uh, total scene in the Kanto living decks. I don't think I have a cut Pokemon. I don't. Let's just go over here. But, uh... I already have the full shiny Dratini line. I just didn't get it live. So in the description of all my videos, I do have a Google Sheets page that shows all of my progress for the Kanto Living decks. And also you can click on the cells to view the video. I'm going to slowly replace the shiny Dratini videos I have in that with these live reactions because these are a lot better. So <laughs> in my opinion, I like their live reactions more. So I wanted to rehunt these generation shiny dratini generational quest let's check this thing out in battle but yeah it counts for the living decks but it's not going to update the counter because i already have it technically so we got a regular pidgey and hopefully a shiny dratini because <laughs> i mean i could have gotten this wrong i double checked to make sure that the stats were right at level 50 as far as I know, it is shiny, which is insane that I got this so fast for my first ever Generation 1 shiny hunt. There might be a few here and there I do, but uh, I'm really glad to have gotten this. So I'm going to cut here. We're going to try to trade this to my red version and then to my crystal version and show it off in Generation 2. So I'll see you then. What's really cool is that they made us of the virtual console. You can trade with the same game, so uh, you don't need like a link connector or anything, which is awesome. 
Invite a partner to play with me, yes. And then we're gonna join on the other one. I'm not showing the other one just yet. It doesn't really matter right now. All right, I, I've never done this before, so <laughs> this is all pretty new to me. So I believe Dratini, it's the first Dratini. It is this one, Dragoon. It doesn't tell you the nickname on this, so that's cool. And then I'm just gonna trade this Rhyhorn over. All right, so we're trading this one off. It's not gonna look any special because we're just going from Gen 1 to Gen 1, so. We will then do the, hopefully I can, I, I know it's like a different thing for, uh, for gold, silver, crystal, you need the time capsule feature, and apparently if you haven't talked to Bill, you have to wait 24 hours after you do that, so hopefully I've done that, <laughs> I would assume I have. Alright, so now we just gotta hope we get, we get this to work on crystal version, and I will see you when that happens. All right, let's check this out. So, there it is. It's a shiny Dratini, confirmed. Let me up the brightness on this so you can like actually see it. There we go, it looks a lot better there. So it is a shiny Dratini. Ah, uh, I can't believe that. Dragoon, the shiny Dratini. It's just weird, man, like my first ever Gen 1 shiny hunt and I got it this quickly man. All right, let's let's trade though Let's get it on this game. So let's see this thing in action in Gen 2 It is in Gen 2, but it is a Gen 1 shiny Dratini So I will be hunting a Gen 2 shiny Dratini as well So there it is And we'll send this Geodude off that I don't I don't know why I have this Geodude. It must it must just caught it for something <laughs> All right, so let's check this thing out. Dragoon the Shiny Dratini. And it's a male. Okay, so it is a male. There's the Shiny Dratini. Let's send this thing out in battle. Check it. Wait, it's holding, an, it's holding an item? A bitter berry? What? Is that, is that a thing if you trade from Gen 1? Is that... I've never done this before. This is the first time I've done this. This is crazy. All right, let's check this thing out. So we got a regular Gligar and Shiny Dratini, which Shiny Dratini looks pretty blue in this game. It's, it's nothing too crazy. Let's actually see what Dratini looks like normal in this. All right, so that's what Dratini looks like normally. So the shiny one is a little more purple and the belly isn't as yellow. So if you were wondering, that's the difference. We'll do one more encounter here. So we got another regular Gligar and Shiny Dratini. Look at that, man. So I'm going to cut here and I will see you when I send it into a Gen 7 game where it's going to look like an actual Shiny Dratini. So I will see you then. All right, I am back. We are in Pokey Transporter and we are going to be sending Dragoon the Dratini into Generation 7. Because for those who don't know, you can only send... The Generation 1 Pokemon to either Gen 2 or Gen 7. You can't do Gen 6, and obviously you can't do Gen 3, 4, or 5. But, uh, so we're going to Gen 7. We'll probably put this in Pokemon Home or in our Sword and Shield version. Whatever I feel like, I don't know. We might just leave it in Ultra Moon for a while because, you know, I got some Shinies in there. We might do some more hunts, but here we go. It's in Box 1, and there it's, it's in there. Doesn't look shiny from that sprite, but we know it's shiny already because it was shiny in Gen 2. So let's check this thing out in Pokemon Bank. We actually have a few shinies in Ultra Moon. I'm really hoping Pokemon Home compatibility comes out with BDSP and Legends Arceus soon because there's some shinies I have in here that I have yet to send in Pokemon Home just because you can't use them in Sword and Shield, but a lot of them you can use in BDSP. It's just, you just can't send them to it yet. So, so here's Bank 1. Transport box, there's our shiny Dratini. Um, it doesn't show it actually like a good sprite or anything in this. So, and it has the hidden ability, which is pretty cool. I didn't actually see what nature it was. It is hardy nature, which is neutral. Um, I know there's a way to manipulate the natures if you just uh, give it a certain amount of experience or whatnot, but I don't really care about that. So we have a shiny box over here. So we're gonna put it in there. I'm not showing the bottom screen right now because I don't really want to. <laughs> I do have that stand, that I, that makeshift stand that I was hunting. I, I just don't really want to do that anymore. It's kind of a pain. <laughs> I 
I only really use it on the 3DS if I'm also hunting on the 2DS because it's very weird to have the flat game with the game that can fold so i just have them both upright uh back where i was hunting for squirtle you can check that video out in the card right now if you want i got a shiny island scan squirtle for the kanto shiny living decks and there it is the shiny dratini dragoon full odds 18192 obviously it has to be and it has the little icon because it was from a game boy game from generation one that is awesome. So let's let's take a look at this thing. Let's send out in battle. It will be staying as a Dratini. I will be hunting at least eight more of these. I'm pretty sure Dratini is going to be in Scarlet and Violet. So we will be able to hunt it in there for the generational quest. But uh, yeah, it's going to stay as a Dratini. We'll probably, since there's nine generations, we'll probably do one of each evolution. So or three of each evolution, I should say. So three of them will be Dratini, three will be Dragonair, and three will be Dragon Knight. All right, let's check this thing out. Ambush encounter. So we got a regular Ekans and shiny Dratini. Look at that. That is awesome. I just, I can't believe I got this thing as fast as I did. So that's just insane, but uh, I think that's pretty much all there is to it. Let's do one more encounter, because why not? Hopefully the colors look pretty good. I always struggle to focus on these uh, 3DS games. Like uh, The colors are always out of whack when you're using a camera. Do I have a Repel down? I do. I definitely do. All right, Repel wore off, finally. So we got a regular Abra. And Dragoon the Shiny Dratini. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination and I will see you in the next video.